Hello, welcome to a new practical tip for Google Sheets in Practical Sheets. This comes from a question from a student that has the following situation. He has one folder in Drive that he shares with another teammate. And this teammate has to process the files that come here in a regular basis. They may be invoices or whatever. So if 10 invoices come during the day, he should process them as fast as possible. So he asked me if there's a way to create a system that sends an email every time a new file comes to the, to the folder so that I don't have to keep letting him know that there's a new file and I don't have to share each file individually. I, we just share the folder and then he can receive an email every time there's a new file. So there's no trigger for this, but we could uh, trick it a bit. So we were, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to access this folder. We're going to count how many files are there in the folder. And we're going to have it here in a, in a cell. So the next time that I run the script, it's going to look how many files there were the last time. And then we're going to compare it to how many files are right now. And if there are more, then it will send the email. It may not be the prettiest solution or the most effective solution because somebody in one of the comments of, the, of that video in Spanish told me that what happens if I deleted one or two files and then added one or two, then the, name, the number of the files will be the same or less. So the script is not going to know. So in the future, we can refine this a bit more to see maybe with the creation date to avoid this particular situation. But for now, let's create this first version of the system. So here I'm going to create a variable called files in folder. It will begin with zero, or I could add some files if I want, some number, but let's start it with zero and let's open a script editor. Let's call this send email when new file. So first we're going to connect with this cell B1. We're going to call our spreadsheet. Leave the spreadsheet up, then get active spreadsheet, and then get active sheet. Then we're going to call with the with the get range method, we're going to call the B1 cell and get the value. We can call this file count. Then we're going to connect with our file. This file and we don't need the name. What we need is this ID. And we'll connect with the drive app and with this get folder by ID method. And we're going to paste, paste under quotation marks our ID. We can call this folder. Finally, we could have a method called get files. And this will be our files. For counting them, I don't know if this is the best method, but this is the one I got. You let me know if you're experiencing in drive up. So as you may know, this is what Google calls a file iterator. That is a special object that has files. So we access the file iterator with a while or, a, or any loop. But this while seems to work very well. And we have a method on their files that says has next. So that it will go through our file iterator for how many files they have. And then we use this other method next to move the iterator. It's like the I++ in the, in the for loops. And I forgot to create here a variable called counter that would start in zero, or we could call file number maybe to be more precise. File number. And then here for each file it finds in the file iterator, we can have file number plus plus. That, that's it. That, that is that it adds one to the file number variable. So I have this file count that is the number of 
files we had the last time the, the code run right now is zero and then we have file number that is the current number of files so we're going to compare file count with file number if file number is greater than file count then we're going to send the email if not we're not going to send anything so let's do an if that if file number is greater than file count then we're going to access our gmail app and then send an email to your teammate this you can set it up as you as you want with a subject line and the message okay and that's it the last thing we need to do is to update this cell because we should put the value of the files that we currently found so this file number so the next time it will know how many files we found the last time we ran so here i'm going to say ss.getrange again my b1 cell but now we're going to set value to file number this will be inside my if because we will change this only if file number is greater than file count so that's it i think we can do it now we're going to save the first time it's going to ask me some permissions and knowing that here is zero and we have one here then it should send an email let's run it let's see so here it changed to one and then we go to our gmail and look i have here you have new files to process there are new files one last thing we could do here is to have another variable called files new files that is just the difference between file number and file count to know how many files we have so here i'm going to create two new files So I have two new files here and I could send in my in my message you have there are how many new files so it's a bit more informative than the email let's save it and let's run it here now I have three and then I have a new message that says there are, there are two files in the invoice folder this was the invoice folder here there's one last thing before i go and is that i shouldn't have to run this manually and as i told you at the beginning of the video there's no trigger to do this every time there is a new file if there were i wouldn't have to do all this so what i'm going to do is to set a specific trigger or, a, or an installable trigger I'm going to go here to trigger i'm going to save this first then here to triggers i'm going to add a new trigger this is my only function so that's good but i'm going the event source won't be from spreadsheet but time driven i could say that a minute timer and this is up to you if you think that 30 minutes is enough or maybe 30 minutes is too much and I could change it to our timer every hour, every two hours. But if you, if you have a lot of files, then we could have it as a minute timer and we could check it every five or every 10 minutes. Save. And that's it. So this will run from now on. It will run every 10 minutes. Check if there are new files. And if there are new files, it's going to send the email. As I told you at the beginning, we could change this further and refine it, but I'm going to wait a good time so more people can view it and give me their suggestions and we can have a part two of this tip. So you can find this code in the Patreon page.
as well as the code for all of my videos and the template. And if you like these kind of videos, you can get them twice a week in the channel. So please subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you the next time.